Timmy's an artist, and he he gets the the idea that uh, you know he wants to sort of push himself to uh, to uh, a new height, and so he thinks that maybe if he gets a job working for the police, it'll give him like a lot of uh, inspiration and a lot of excitement. And, and uh, he he kind of admires a lot of the photojournalists, so the magnum photographers like uh, Cartier Bresson, Robert Capa, and Don McCollum, and people like that. And he he really wants to be like one of those guys, but he hasn't had the opportunity, so he gets this job working for the police, uh, shooting um, crime scenes and homicides. It um, almost immediately is is too much for him, it overwhelms his sensitivity, it's just too great that he, he can't uh, handle it. So what he, he does, I, I'm not sure, maybe I shouldn't give it away, but he, he's afraid and, and as anyone in fear, they, they need, to, they need to, to change things so that they can handle the situation. So he, he starts to uh, alter reality. This is how I found them, Last Supper. Absolutely nothing, and, and D. Stevens and his assistant Larry Gus. Man, you know, D. Basically took me and taught me, you know, everything he possibly could in the short time that we had to work on, on the film and the prep. And uh, he took me through, you know, everything from, you know, uh, lighting and composition and, and working in the dark room and retouching. And, and uh, I did as much work as we could, but we were very pressed for time. And and. Um, and uh, and now, and now I have like the bug. I, I can't wait to get a camera and you know really start shooting it. And he taught me, you know, I, we started working with the Leica, this uh, this camera here. Um, and Leica was kind enough to you know loan us some cameras, and you know, and, and and he showed me the difference between certain cameras and how like certain cameras give you a different feel. And, and, and you know, I understand a little of what's going on with the photographers now. L.A. is one of the characters in the film, according to Hannah. Yeah, it plays a big part. Yeah. It plays a big part. Because, you know, Jimmy's a photographer, so it's very visual. There's a lot of POV shots of, of the city and in hopes of kind of, like, getting the audience to experience kind of the, what he sees, you know, because he's a very, you know, he's visual. He's, visual. he's affected by what he sees, so they try to show you what you might be thinking and feeling, you know, by what he sees. Hamlet wrote and directed the script, and, and he's been working on it for a long time. And he went above and beyond, you know, any anybody I've ever worked with. And he's an extremely passionate and intelligent and sensitive man, and he's completely intuitive. And uh, he's great because he he can he was able to really cut through a lot of my own fear uh, at, at at kind of tackling this character. Um, and uh, I've enjoyed every second here. So. I don't know what I can tell you about Hamlet, but yeah, he loves this movie and he loves he loves uh, these people, and you can tell working on it. I, everybody, I think, cares about what they're working on, you know. And I think that on an independent level, there people are more more closely knit because it's it's they tend to be friends because everyone's working for free, so you have to kind of get people who are going to work for free for you and who are going to go, you know, 100. 20%, you know, for nothing. So it has that kind of family feel to it. Um, the stuff that I've done that has have had higher budgets and you know TV and and, and things like that. It's it, it's just bigger, you know, and there's more input. Um, some people say that too many cooks spoil the spoil the stew, and some people say that you know the more the merrier. Who knows? I mean, it depends on the project. You know, I've had I would say pretty good experiences on all the things I've worked on, to, regardless of the budget.